Welcome to a Desmos activity on polynomial operations. Please follow the prompts on each screen. See if you can make connections between the algebraic and graphical representations of the sums, differences, and products of polynomials. A quadratic function f of x and a linear function g of x are given. Add f of x plus g of x. Write your answer in standard form. So you're going to be adding this quadratic trinomial plus this linear binomial. And you're going to be combining like terms and writing your answer in standard form. So x squared, there's only one quadratic term. There are two linear terms. And there's two constant terms. And so you'll explain your thinking of where that came from and why it is correct, and then share it with the class. In this next frame or screen, we have the polynomial functions from the previous screen. f of x is here. We're going to click on the button to see that that is a quadratic function. g of x, of course, is a linear function, passing through 3 on the y axis with a slope of 4. And when we add f of x plus g of x, we'll see that it is another quadratic function that has been translated. And what I want to do in this one to make sure that our answer in the previous screen was correct, we can copy and paste it. So whatever you had here as the sum, we could copy it. And you can paste it down right here in line 7. And you'll notice it just the sum went on top of what we had for f of x plus g of x. So I know that my answer from the previous screen was correct. So in this one, you're going to be subtracting polynomial functions. You're going to subtract f of x minus g of x. Well, there's only one quadratic term. And here, negative 2x minus 4x is negative 6x. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And you're going to explain why that answer makes sense. What did you do to subtract the quadratic trinomial minus the linear binomial? You're going to be needing this expression in the next screen. Make sure you explain your thinking. And over here, let's look at that original trinomial and then the linear function. And when we subtract, let's see what the difference will look like. OK, so it's another quadratic function. And from the previous screen, I copied. And now I'll paste my answer. And notice it is showing up on top of what Desmos gave us for f of x minus g of x. So that gives us confidence that our answer from the previous screen was correct. Asking you to multiply two linear binomials here using FOIL, the first two multiplied together. So x times 4x is 4x squared. O is outside 2, x times 1. i is the inside 2. And L is the last two. And now to write our product in standard form, we'll start with our quadratic term. Our linear terms are going to combine, and then our constant term. And we will probably need this, need to copy this expression as well. But we'll explain where it came from. And then we have these linear functions. The graphs of them are here. One has a positive 1 slope that passes through the y-axis at negative 1. And this one has a slope of 4 with a y-intercept of 1. And then that product of two linear functions, both increasing, will be a concave up quadratic. And then I'm going to paste down the product that I got in the previous screen. And I'm happy that it's right on top.